Okay. Why did the Super Bowl chicken... <laughs> I can't do it. Why did the Super Bowl chicken cross the road? Well, apparently he didn't because a billion chicken were completely obliterated this weekend. Hey fam, welcome to my channel. I'm Sam. That rhymed actually. And uh, here we do songs, talks, and vlogs where I've got the songs, uh, I've got the talks, and I have a mouth. <laughs> The talk part of this channel is pretty new actually, I don't usually do simple conversational videos like this, but I really want to start doing it because I think it's a great way for us to get to know each other a lot better. The truth is, I've had literally dozens of ideas since the beginning of 2018, and I'm really excited about them, and I'm trying to start rolling them out, so it's gonna be a fun year. So if you're looking forward to this like I am, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm actually really close to 250 subscribers, which has been my goal for a long time. Like 774 days exactly. <laughs> no big deal, no big deal, it's just 774 days. So let's see if we can make it there really soon. I think we can do it. So we just had Super Bowl 52 here in the US and it's the biggest sporting event of the year. The New England Patriots face off against the Philadelphia Eagles and the Eagles won. What was that? Some laughed, some cried, some argued, but the, if there's one thing that can bring us all together as a country, it is food. But how much food is too much food? This weekend, someone told me that the expected amount of chicken wings that would be eaten by America this weekend for the Super Bowl would be four billion pieces of chicken. And I called him out. I was like, you are a liar. I didn't say you were a liar. I said, um, I, that's impossible. I don't believe it. We're being lied to, people. I basically confronted him in a very, very polite way. Um, and uh, we agreed to disagree that the nation can eat four billion pieces of chicken in a single weekend. So, you know me, I like math and stuff, so I did the math. And there is 135 million people in the US. And through division, I don't know what that is, through division, that means like each man, woman, and child would have to eat 12 chicken wings on Super Bowl day. And that doesn't make any sense. That's even assuming that every single person in America even watches the Super Bowl, and they don't. Let's say only one in three people watch the Super Bowl, which is pretty reasonable, I think. That means like each person would have to eat 36 chicken wings. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's not possible for every single person to eat that much wings. I don't know. Did you eat 36 chicken wings on uh, Super Bowl? I actually did a poll, but I'll get to that later. I'll do it at the end. I did a poll on Instagram, and I'll tell you the results soon. But there may be one thing that's actually throwing off that number and raising the average, and that is on the weekend there was a wing eating competition, and the winner of that competition ate so many wings, I would probably have died if I tried it. The winner in 30 minutes ate 501 chicken wings. How do you even live? How do you not have? like an omni ulcer. Omni ulcer is like an ulcer, but everywhere. There's always gotta be that one guy that ruins it for the rest of us. Uh, actually, the person who won was actually a female. Her name is Molly S. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I'll put it in the description. Molly S, she turns out is only 127 pounds. If you actually do the math on that, and each pound of chicken is average two ounces, she ate at least 62.5 pounds of chicken. She's only like 127 pounds. She literally ate half of her body weight in chicken. And I mean, congrats. I mean, more power to you. I can do it. I'm good at other things. So I actually think there is a moral to the story. I think there's two morals. Well, I could probably think of a few arbitrary ones, but we'll stick to two for now. The first one is don't lie. If you're gonna lie, don't. Just don't. I looked up the number and it was actually 1.35 billion chicken wings. And the numbers are still pretty high, but you can do the math on that. 
he probably, because I like to see the good side in people, probably just misremembered the right number. But still don't lie. The second one is take care of yourself. Don't eat 36 chicken wings in a single day. Don't eat 36 chicken wings in a single week. Save that for like a year or something. 35? I think that's okay. I think you can eat like 35. That should be alright. So I wanted to get to the bottom of the chicken bowl of mystery here. So I did a poll on Instagram and there were 12... How many hands? I don't have 12 fingers. There were 12 people who voted and 92% of you said that you did not eat 36 chicken wings and like one person said you did eat 36 chicken wings so congrats bro. If you didn't get to vote I encourage you to comment below how much chicken wings you ate and what was your favorite part about the Super Bowl. This is a very serious matter. I honestly don't really eat a lot of meat. I ate exactly zero chicken wings which is a nice round number. I did it because it's a zero and it's rounded. Okay. Sorry for that. Thanks for participating in the comments. Roundhouse kick that like button if you like this video or like food. Definitely check out the description box below to see how to connect with me. I'd love to meet you. I'm on Instagram all the time. My roommate actually thinks I have an addiction, but I don't even know what he's talking about whatsoever. I also have a P.O. box that I put down below in case you want to mail me anything. Love letters. I also love coffee, probably too much though. Yeah, so send me something if you want. And thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Remember to subscribe to my channel for future content. And until the next video, remember to stay yourself. You are the best. Later. Bye.